Hi everyone, especially Andrea from UK. I'm sharing with you how to make a 3D flower. I draw a circle. You can trace it from a uh, one cent or five cents. Draw the leaf, and then something like that. Very simple. And the dress I use today, I use the yellow and the green. But if the color fades from dark to light like this, okay. Let's just start it. Put that away for now. I'm gonna make the flower first. I am using six strand here, and I use thirty-six inches here. So you have to do three times from the twelve inches ruler. You do three times. And I use two and a half inch straw. You can use any straw you want. This is the regular uh, drinking straw. This straw right here, you're gonna tie. Double knot. Cut the extra away. And then move it down here. You're going to leave about half an inch at the end. From this one right here, get your index finger and wire in this loop. And then put the loop right here to the straw. Do this, get the loop going. You're going to keep going until you get into the end right here and leave a quarter of an inch. I could have three more weeks. This year, the summer start really late. It's always happened to us, everyone, when I want to get out of school as soon as possible, and it is go later. And you feel like you don't like certain thing, and then you slow down. Get into the end here, you're gonna leave like that, drown the needle and it go through all six. Just hold your hand this way. The first knock right here that when you just loop goes like this. Make sure the strain go on top of the straw and then pull. And then keep it up like that. Go to the next one. The next one you're doing the same thing, you're gonna pull, continue to do to the next one. And the next one, and the next one, until you go into the, the very ends down there. This morning so cute. I drop them off and then I turn around and walk in down to the stair to go to the parking. I turn around Ethan behind me. He's so cute. I'm like, can you take me home? That's how bad they want to get out of school. When you don't feel comfortable with the school anymore. School day is long. You see how it is? It looks so cute. Continue doing this all the way. So relaxed in the other day. I just sat down and, and make it whole bunch. Okay, so when you're done, this is the tricky part. You gotta pay attention. I'm getting my needle go through the straw here, like that. And then I'm going to push this straw all the way. But when I push, I'm gonna hold on to the needle this way. I, my intent is to push the straw out of here. The straw job is finished. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the straw out of this. And I get the needle. You see the loop of the strain is still here. Go ahead and grab this one. Get the needle, go through the loop. And then from here, you gently pull. 
gently pull pull until you see it's everything spread like a fan like this and go ahead and go to this hole here make a loop right here and pull and when you see you're gonna go to here you're gonna make a loop to this loop right here and you come out you're gonna make 11 more you see how quick to make one so cute so i have made 12 of them right here everyone i'm using six on the top the, the pointy of the leaf and i go down go on the side the left. go on the side of the right Here you go and up. And then you go and down a little bit. One stitch. And then go to the left. Follow the line that you draw on there. Go on the right. And then make a new one, a new line. Go, but the side you need to do more then go ahead and do one side at the top like that and then go down and then from here go down there you go so that is one now we're going to do the thing here. What is it called? Stain. When I pull it down, I'm not going to pull all the way, but I'm going to let my needle go up halfway of this. And continue doing the same thing like this, going down. And halfway. Move it up. Like that. Continue doing the whole thing. Same way. I also using the six strand for the pop out and I'm going up to where the end of the here. do one two and three and I'm going down good okay so everyone after I did the the leaf and then the stem so now we're gonna put this the flower together this little thing right here you're gonna go ahead and on each of the side here you're gonna add this one in You get the needle with the the big holes like this, it's helpful. And 
and going up in the hole. And then go in back down. And at that time you can let go the dirt. And now we're gonna go the inside. Now this one you're gonna go in between. Okay, I'm gonna go to here, go right to the center. This time you only go to the center to form the flower that are in the middle. When you pour it, it's gonna go like this for you. It... Okay, this one right here. Let's go right into the center. So I'm curling this out a little bit and then I'm going to here. I'm going right in between these two and I'm going to go all the way down. Oh my goodness. It's underneath here, everyone, if you like a jellyfish. Now you pull, when you pull it harder, you see how it is? It folds up for you like that. The last one. Okay, right in the middle. Pull to the jellyfish back here. And then pull. See, when you pull it, it's gonna come down. And it's curved. You can use your hand too if you want to form this flower a bit. Pull really hard. Look at that. This is the back, everyone. Isn't that look so dizzy? Not a big deal. Go ahead and tie it together and make sure everything back here nice and clean. Don't pin it. It's okay. It's going to be in the back anyway. and this is what it look like isn't that so cute andrea from uk you're gonna love this andrea thank you so much for watching please stay safe and take care